Hi, welcome to a Mystic Dude Division 2 video. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you all about the expertise system and hopefully clarify a few points which uh, people are getting confused by. I know there's lots of videos out there already. A lot of big content creators have rushed them out. And most of them are really, really good. But by, I think by rushing them, they're missing a couple of points. Or sometimes the explanation doesn't get over properly. So I'm going to give you my take on it. So the first thing I will do, that's my main character there. That's my second main which I play. So I'm out. That's just a mule. And this is one I created yesterday. Now it says 12 hours played. That allows for time that I was logged out. Uh, sorry, AFK. And also hanging around White House, uh, doing my SHDs and stuff. So I leveled it up. It was a boosted character. So by boosted, so you create a new character and you complete the Warlords. Now I did it solo. I didn't get any help. I just ran through it. And uh, it took me about, I would say, three, three and a half hours playing. You could probably do it quicker if you've done a couple of vaults and you know your way around a bit better than I did. Or if you've got friends that can give you, open up the safe houses and even run run with you and, you know, romp, stomp, kill everything for you. But it took me about three and a half hours play time, for it, maybe, maybe four. But yeah. So the idea is, is that you level your alt, get it to level 40 and complete the Warlords of New York quest line which includes killing Aaron Keena and then, you, then you're able to come back to the White House now all you need to do here is buy stuff so I'm going to show you a couple of things so once you're at level 40 you watch the first thing you need to do sorry let's just backtrack first thing you need to do when you're out Go to this girl here and, and buy the item off for which says shared resources. So buy the item off for that way. Any resources you've got on this character, except for the gold, will be shared between your other characters. And go to the watch. And as you can see, the points on the watch are equal to what the points you've got on your main. Now mine's 2,039. You can take a thousand off. Is it a thousand, eight hundred, whatever for your offensive, defensive, handling, and utility? And as you can see, because I'm on four nine five, I've been doing some. Right now, let's go to expertise. So, for the weapons, the best way to level these up is to donate. 20 of each type for the gears the best way is to put multiple sets on run missions and also donate printer filaments and i'll show you that so the weapons what you would do using your hhd so make sure you've got room in your bag so you go to your shd And if you haven't got the gold to do it, if you've got your gold on your main character, some players have collected 7, 8, 9, 10 million, 20 million, whatever. Use that. But if you know gold, you can buy this here. So one point will give you 20k. Yeah, like that. And then go to all the vendors. So we've got this one here. So that says proficiency rank zero. So let's have a look. Fifteen. So that's fifteen thousand. I don't know why it's showing zero. I've done that on my main. But we'll, we'll go ahead with it. X forty five tactical proficiency rank zero. 
they're a bit cheap so we need to buy 20 weapons yeah although you can see that there's already one on the, on that rank progress it's already halfway there so that would mean we'd only need 19 them have none on so basically you buy 20 weapons yeah so yeah. work out how much it's going to be you, you buy all these so let's say that's 84 169k say so you go to your shd go to your watch and i need 169k so i can buy 20 of them Get up there. There we go. So we're. I'll just buy an extra one because I want to show you something. Right. So they're all in. What do we? I'm bored to love. I've just got the money. Silly mystic. Right. So we was going to buy twenty of these. It doesn't matter which to demonstrate it. So I'll do it with the uh, yeah the assault rifle. So the fell fell SA58. So we need to buy 20 of these. So one. I hope you're happy with your purchase. Hope to do business with you again. Thanks for the business. Enjoy your purchase, agent. Quiet, cause I'm counting. Don't put me off, I end up buying too many. I hope this serves you well. Right, I think that's 20. Your so I bought 20 of these. Now, this... You need a craftsman? Like I said, this is specific to the weapons. I'll show you the gears in a minute. So then you just come down to the fell. I say 58. You can see that it's got an exclamation mark on it. That's because I haven't identified them items in my bag or viewed them, inspected them. So it's showing that there's new items. Yeah. The, the number at the side shows how many. So this is, there's two ways of, of doing this. So you, you, well, the reason it shows 22, I've got two equipped. So you highlight one of those that's not equipped and then you can just donate selected now at the moment as you can see we're on zero of 88,000 and on the left hand side make a note of that 159 of 200 right so the way it works is this your proficiency level and this is the important bit this is pe people can't get the red round you've got two sort of leveling ladders one is your proficiency one is your expertise yeah your proficiency is based individually to a brand set or a weapon type yeah whereas your expertise level is the whole of everything it's based on everything you've leveled up yeah so where that says 159 of 200 that means i've got on this level three 159 proficiencies on my items so what we'll do, we'll donate two of these. So, do you want to donate it? And as you can see on the right, that went to 44,000. And we'll do one more. And that's put it to proficiency rank one. And as you can see on the left, that's now gone up to 160. So, once we get that 160 up to 200, that'll give us expertise level four. Now your expertise level, you can only apply to items that have got full proficiency. So that's one way of donating them separately. Now there's another way, and people say it doesn't work. So I'll show you what to do. So we've got these in the bag. So you've just done a run. Let's say you're going through your items. So you just mark them as junk. And we'll mark that designated it as well. I might as well donate that. So I've marked them all as junk. And you can go to here. 
Right, now instead of going into the individual weapons, at the bottom it says donate all junk. So I'm going to do that and watch the left hand side where it's like the expertise level, where it says 3 and 160 of 200. Watch that when I do it. So I'm going to donate it now. So that's now put me up to 170. That basically is them levels from me file. So if I go to my inventory, as you can see, they're all gone. And my designated hitter is also gone. So that's how I've donated them. So for all these weapons, what you need to do, just to backtrack on this part one sort of, create an alt, get through warlords, get to white house, and then make sure you've got some gold. If you if you're gonna do this on your main, then fine. You don't need if you've got loads of gold, then you don't need to buy it with this alt you've made. In which case you can save these SHD level points for the next part I'm going to show you. If you haven't, then you can buy the gold. So, what you need to do is, as you can see now, if I go down to this file, it says proficient underneath expertise. On these, it doesn't. So, what you would do is buy 20 of each weapon. And hand them in. Yeah. That will get you from 0 to level 10. Yeah. Then go to the clan vendor in the White House. And as we're not too far away, we might as well run there. So go to the clan vendor in the White House. See what weapons he's got there. Glad you're here, isn't it? Artist tool. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, I've already leveled that one up. So, buy 20 of them. I've, I've already been and done these when I was testing it before. So, they're all proficient. So, there's that vendor. There's the settlements. There's the uh, New York. And then there's your, your DZs. I haven't tried any DZs because I don't do dark zones I've no interest in it in fact as far as I'm concerned you can shut it down and make it into a, a PVE area and take all the PVP to division one Come over and take a look. but let's see so I mean I don't have any points to spend anyway but yeah there's different weapons here so you could buy them if you've got loads of points if you do a lot of PvP, that's another way of doing it. So yeah, go around the vendors. Then, make a note of the uh, the vendor reset time. Because when it restocks, you're going to get a whole new set of weapons. So that's the weapons covered off. So, recap again. Level out, get gold, use gold to buy weapons from the vendors, buy 20 weapons, hand them in either individually or mark them as junk and just donate all. Right, now the other way of doing it, this is for the gears now. Y you can do f this for the weapons, but I wouldn't advise it. So let's just pick an item, doesn't matter which. Right, we'll go for Catharsis. Now, I don't even have that weapon yet. Sorry, weapon, mask. I don't even have that mask yet. But you can get proficiency in items that you don't have. Now, if I hand the mask in, I won't get, like, like the weapon, the weapon gives me basically 50% of a rank. It'll put me up to like, where it says uh, 0, 5, 10. It'll give me 44,000. With the gears, it doesn't work like that. And I will try and demonstrate it with a piece of gear that is hopefully for sale. So, right, so we've got the rush 
72511 backpack. So we'll buy. Let's find something with an easy number. Anna U Corporation. So we'll buy one of them. I hope you're happy with so your it's Anna U nice backpack. So if we hand this in now, so just scroll down. Remember it's in your bag, you've not identified it. It should show up with a question exclamation mark as you can see there. And then we can donate it. Yeah, again, if you bought loads of stuff or your bag was full from missions, you mark it as junk, and then on the first page, this page, donate all. So you go into Anna U. Now, as you can see, at the moment, it says 8,800 of 8,800. So if we donate selected, it's on 17,6. So basically, you get 8,800 of each one. So you would need 10 items for each level, which means you would need 100 items for a full proficiency. And that is very, very expensive. Yeah, because you're talking like, I mean, what was it on? That was 20 of them. So that was like just short of 17,000. But you'd need 100 of them. Yeah, so you're talking 670,000. Hell of a lot of money. Right. So, all is not lost. Let's find another way. So, this is still expensive, but if you've created alts and you really want to level something up, it might be the way to go. So let's just put some money in again. Let's see uh, how many we're going to need. Let's have a look. Right, so what I'm going to do now. This is going to be what I said before. I don't know if you remember. I'm going to buy print filaments. And I'm buying them by buying the mods. I'm buying mods to make print filaments. I should have said. But the reason I'm buying the mods to do it is because each mod will give me six print filaments. So two mods will give me 12, but if I use my watch to buy them directly, I'll only get 10. So I'm in profit too. If you've got bucket loads of SHD points, I know people are out there with six, 7,000 points and more, 20,000 I've seen people with. If you've got bucket loads, it might not matter to you. Yeah. And if you, again, also the other factor is how much time have you got to level out? So, so, so what we're going to do with these is we'll go to your mods. I've just bought all then, so we're just going to scrap them. So we scrap them, deconstruct them. That gives us 90 print filaments. Like I said, the, the, the gears are going to is going to be the grind bit on this. So if I go to Mycophysis, I can. What you need to do is at the bottom you can see where it says tutorial, research, sorted by name, and and back. So what we need to do is research. That'll bring up the mask. I haven't got any other Mycophysis, so I've none to donate. But what I can do is select donation materials. Yeah. Now on this screen, you need to be careful. You you do not hit donate all materials, because that will donate everything in your bag. That will donate your steel, your ceramics, anything that's in green that it has got the amount for it will donate them. So you risk losing all your materials, guys. So be careful with that. So what we're going to do, we've bought the printer filaments. And we're just going to donate resource, an individual resource. The reason we use 
using printer filaments is they are the cheapest option compared to all the other materials so we go to printer filaments so we donate resource and I'm just going to do it once 8800 so that 8800 was same as donating one item yeah so that's 30 printer filaments which is what did I say we get we get six from each so that's five so five mods so 25k so it costs so you can do your mash yourself and it's going to take you so again we're going to you'd need to donate 10 so one two three four five six seven eight nine and as we do the tenth one again look on the left hand side just so if you've if it's not sunk yet where it says proficient 25 of 344 level 3 expertise 170 of 200 and as we hit the last one that goes up one yeah right now the second part of this and the last bit is the expertise itself so what you need to be aware of is what items are in your bag so we'll start with the assault rifle because as I demonstrated before on the FALSA 58 para or FAL SA 58 I call it FALSA but I've got that in my bag so I can select to upgrade that and as you'll see on the right hand side it shows me the materials needed to upgrade it so next grade level next grade bonus plus one percent weapon damage that's for expertise level one and then obviously I'd do two that's in my bag so if I chose an item like the carbine seven I'm proficient on that the windows are blank if that happens to you it's purely because the item is not in your inventory it does not do storage items yeah so a couple of people have been getting confused about this thinking that it's not it won't upgrade their items for some reason it's because they've got to put them in in the stash to keep safe or for whatever reason share between alts and then if it's in the stash it won't upgrade it and uh, just to explain it on the brand sets we'll give you a quick look at that so uh, think of one that I've what have I got in my bag be nice if they'd put these in alphabetical order so fucking lazy oh they're in named items there such an idiot gear sets here we go clips protocol so that's in my bag so as you can see them at a cost down at the bottom. If I go to another item, so Heartbreaker, the windows are blank because I haven't got it in my bag. Yeah. So this is why, when I said before, you need to be careful about donating all. You don't want it to deplete your resources because it'll take all these materials of you without you realizing so that's why save your resources for your expertise levels or if, you, if you've capped on them fine use them however way you want your resources you know but if you've got plenty of gold or plenty of money buy the filaments upgrade that way that works out cheaper and then you're not using your resources your resources can be uh, kept for your expertise levels or for your projects or whatever so yeah I hope that has explained it and clarified a few points the, the main one I'm hearing people getting confused about is the donate all like I showed you at the beginning of the video that
that will work. If it's not donating, check your proficiency. It's probably because you've you capped on it. Yeah. If you've got five P four one sixes in your bag, but you only need one to cap to level your proficiency, it's only going to use one, and you'll be left with the other four. Yeah. So just you know, get used to looking at whether you, your proficiency is uh, capped. Yeah. So I hope you found this informative. If you've got any questions, or you found any nice little ways of leveling up. I see different people in our communities, the ones that are playing, doing different things. I'm not sure any of them are optimal. I know one guy who's putting six pieces on at a time. And another guy, he's got his own method. Me personally, I'm just sticking one different piece on every, in every slot for a different brand set and just running around with them. So I'm just going all reds or all blues or all yellows, that kind of thing. So, but yeah, if you found out a way, you know, hit it up in comments, let us know. And for now, Mr. Dude out.